Hey everybody, I had a message the other day and the message asked me uh, whether or not you had to, had to show a receipt whenever you left the store. And I thought that was a great, a great question. And I wanted to answer that question today and give you uh, an idea about your rights that you have whenever uh, you're leaving a retail store. Now, before I give you my answer about leaving a retail store, I want to tell you why these greeters or, reception or, or receipt checkers uh, are at the stores. And it's not to catch shoplifters, okay? That's not why they're there. Uh, the studies show that for every shoplifting event, there are 13 employee thefts. Okay, so the greeter slash receipt checker is there to make sure that the employees aren't stealing. That's what they're there for. An example of what they're looking for is you've got somebody that's doing the checkout person and an accomplice. The accomplice comes in, buys $500 worth of stuff. They you know, goes through, looks like it's rang up and they give $100 for it and then they leave the store. That's an example of what they're trying to catch. So that's the real job of the greeter slash receipt checker. You know, at these stores, it's not to catch shoplifters, it's to catch employee theft, okay? Now, uh, my answer applies today. It applies to regular retail stores, not club stores, okay? Not your Sam's, not your Costco, that kind of thing. Those stores are club stores, they're member stores. You have a member agreement that you sign and it may allow them, or it may say as a club member, I'm gonna let you look at my receipt whenever I leave the store. What my answer today applies to is regular retail stores, okay? Like Walmart, like Target, uh, like Kohl's, that kind of thing. Now, there is no legal requirement for you to show your receipt when you leave those regular retail stores, okay? Now, the way it works is, is that, think of it this way. There's no legal requirement for you to show a receipt to the store greeter or checker to prove that you legally bought your property, okay? Because the way it works is, is when you're in the store shopping, and you pick up whatever you're buying and put it in your cart, that's really the store's property. Now, when you go through the checkout and they give you the goods in exchange for payment, once you've paid, those are your goods, okay? They're no longer store merchandise, they belong to you, okay? So after you pay for them, they're your property. The store has no right to stop you and make you show a receipt to prove that you own that property. They have absolutely no legal right. It's the same thing is, let's say, if they wanted you to prove that your cell phone belongs to you when you leave the store. They can't do that, okay? They have no legal right to do that to stop you and look at that receipt. Now, they can ask you for your receipt, but you don't have to show it. That's, that's the way it works at the stores, okay? And that's regular retail stores, not the club stores like Sam's or Costco because there may be a member agreement that you sign saying that you will allow them to look at it. But regular stores like Walmart, Kohl's, uh, uh, Target, these kind of things, it, it, it applies to them perfectly. They have no legal right to stop you and make you show a receipt. And the way it's worked now, it used to be you know, they would, the greeters would say, hey, how are you doing whenever you came in the door? Now, when you leave, they want to see your receipt, all right? And it's gotten worse than see your receipt and look through your, your, your cart and this kind of thing, like they're, believe, you know, like they're actually checking something. Now, because, in my opinion, because people have let them get away with this and they stand in line, you know, there'll be six, seven, sometimes six, seven, eight carts there, people standing in line to show them their receipt. Now, they've actually got scanners, so they're going through and scanning stuff again, making you prove that you own the property. Can't do it, cannot do it. Now, even the police, they have no right to stop you and force you to show a receipt without reasonable suspicion to stop you and probable cause to search you. That's the way it works, okay? Now, my advice is if you don't want 
to stand like sheep in a, in a line or cattle in a line, if you don't want to do that and have your property checked and, you know, and, and checked off and looked through to make sure you can prove that that's your property, okay? If you don't want to do that, my advice is just say no thank you and walk on by, smile, be nice, friendly. Just say no thank you and just keep walking, all right? The, the greeter, the receipt checker, uh, they have no right or, or ability to require you to show that receipt, nothing, okay? So my advice, whenever you, if you don't want to stand in line, if you don't want to be cattle there, you know, and just, you know, blindly having to prove that it's your, your stuff that you just paid for that belongs to you and no longer the store, if you don't want to do that, just say, no, thank you. Smile and go out the door. Keep walking. Okay, that's my advice to you. Now, this advice applies to regular retail stores like Walmart, Kohl's, Target. Okay, it doesn't apply to club stores. Okay, Sam's, Costco, that kind of thing. All right, thank y'all.